Now we are working on Fumikomi. Okay, I'm going to do it very uh, quickly and you know to the point. Fumikomi is translated as stomping, but stomping is not very important here. Okay, because we had to translate it, so they translate it, right? But what we want to do here with this fumikomi ashi, which is a part of, it's a it's a part of uh, it's a kind of footwork. Okay, fumikomi ashi is a footwork, advanced footwork. So we're gonna use it to uh, bring you to another level. Okay, and fumikomi is we use to move from point A to point B. Okay. And fumikomi means step in, literally means step in. So we're gonna step in, okay? And as you can hear, it, uh, it makes sound. When you do fumikomi, uh, it makes sound. If you, get, if you get good at it, you can make sound. But again, sound is not important. It will come later, okay? It will come later. So from here, Okay, right. This is what I want you to do. We've been doing this one, two, three, right? Now, assuming you do do this uh, pretty well, okay, you still keep doing this because that's basic. You have to uh, have correct form, all right? That's why we do this. Have good, nice form and integrate your movement together. It's very necessary. Now, from here, Okay, it's nothing wrong with doing treadmill like that, but uh, in Kindle, all right, we use this kind of small step, small stripe kind of motion, out of advanced technique or applied technique. So we really need to learn this. Otherwise, you will have hard time to enjoy Kindle. Okay, this is a part of enjoyment. Okay, with this you can enjoy pretty well, and you can improve your Kindle pretty fast, all right? So from here, okay, what you wanna do from here, okay, have your weight on left foot, totally. Now, because I'm, I have my hands above my head, I can uh, keep balance, okay? I can keep balance like that, okay? All right? Now, if I become off balance, I can start moving, all right? So from here, Going like this, so I can step forward, right? Now, with the hand together, now, strike and this stomping footwork, this motion have to be together. Okay, from here, going off balance, and you can take a step forward. And this, this should be together. So first, you have to learn this. You have to learn this, okay? First, you really have to learn this, okay? This coordination, hand, foot coordination, okay? Learn this. Now, from here, what's gonna happen? Now, right foot is moved from point A to point B. We have left foot. Now, how are we gonna move that, all right? Make your right knee straight. Straighten your right knee. And this will come forward. Okay? Because by straightening your right knee, your body will be pulled forward. Just like going stairs. Okay? Pull up. You probably don't think kicking the floor or kicking the ground when you go stairs. Maybe it happens at the same time. As you uh, straighten your right knee or front knee, your back foot comes forward, okay? Same principle, same mechanism. Use that, all right? It's nothing special, okay? Well, once you have a weapon in your, in your hand, you get tensed, very tense, all right? And, and that messes you up, all right? Tense, <clears throat> everything becomes really small, tense, and you can't learn Kindle quickly. So nice and relaxed, without any weapon in your hands, all right? Now like this, okay, I'm very, very well balanced, 
but to go forward I have to be off balance and off balance okay now, as you can see another another rule this together right knee straight what happens with the left foot from here stays behind the right foot okay now we call the footwork uh, okuriyashi okuriyashi one two one two back foot stays behind the front foot okay that's called okuriyashi we use this in kendo all the time so after you strike after you you are done with moving from point a to point b this happens right keep the back foot behind the right foot front foot and you keep going because you have momentum okay because you have momentum you go okay now make sure i have a video series called uh, kendo missing pieces okay on playlist it's free of course go and learn this from zero to everything okay i'm just going over it really quickly but i want you to know this is not you know something special it's a bit you know unusual but that's not something you cannot do a lot of people a lot of kindle people kindle learners especially adults have a very hard time with this okay because we don't teach this we just uh, when i was a kid back in the old days we didn't learn fumikomi like this they just said okay do fumikomi after doing this right and not learning how to do, do fumikomi fumikomi ashi just go you can do it you have to go oh, man like that okay years and years of practice yeah i can do it now right i've been doing this for more than 30 years 30 years no more than 40 years 40 years so yeah it's you know my nature now but not you so i you have to know how to do it and how it works now you know okay now you can watch this video again i want to make it shorter of course and upload again but you have already uh, some videos called kendo missing pieces okay yes, there is a playlist go ahead and start watching it all right and we i have a lot of fumikomi videos but this is this method is the easiest method personally i think okay from here yeah like this all right now make sure you do this first step by step okay this first this one if you can do this all right you can move to the next step okay okay and it's straight on your front knee your left foot comes forward okay now you can do it okay now once you've done it now you you have you have to you don't want to stop your momentum right that's why you have to learn okuriyashi all right so you can go forward really quickly now you will have loud fumikomi sound once you get used to it all right don't worry about it right now because you know not many people can do it like this right as you progress it becomes louder stronger sharper and you want to make it stronger and faster and sharper so it will be okay but first things first you're gonna go from here one bam, straight on your right knee now a lot of people say kick the floor okay snap your back foot up bam, don't leave your back foot okay it is true but if you snap up your back if you're thinking of a back foot <laughs> like this and what happens here like that see how my body is going backwards i'm leaning backwards because i'm focusing on this which is true we have to do it but we don't have to do this okay but because we make kendo learners to focus on this foot rather than this foot this happens which is opposite way that we want to go right so it's as a result he does he or she doesn't go anywhere stays there okay 
body wants to go forward, but your head is going backwards. That happens a lot. So focus on the front foot. Down, stretch. So you don't have to kill the momentum. Your body is still going forward. Okay, and if back foot comes forward, whether well, you are thinking about it, because that's how it works. Human body works. So number one thing, not number one, one thing you have to uh, keep in mind, uh, you keep your back knee straight when you go like this, okay? See, it's straight. It's not like this. Once it goes like that, and then you lose power, okay? You have to keep it straight. Top. Top. All right, so please remember these things.